clear sight of goal. men are first to strike. Dylan Barrero was everything but pedestrian on this. No pressure on the ball here, but understanding that this run from Gustavo Bo in behind needed a clever ball, just clipping it up over the top. And it was the run from Gustavo Bo that was really close to being an offside position, but it was Courtney Ford that dropped deep to keep him on. Fantastic work from Dylan Barrero in his first start for the Revolution in MLS, and Gustavo Bo with his second one of 2022. And that sends New England into the second hydration break of the first half in. And this was eerily close to being an offside position. But look at this, no pressure from Sporting Kansas City. So Gustavo Bo drags Volader inside. And this little clip ball from Barrero. Courtney Ford dropped one step too deep. It keeps Gustavo Bo onside. Wednesday week, and then we have them in front of our cameras on ABC in a couple of weekends time at Seattle. For the Rebs, it's a midweek game against Orlando at Gillette on Wednesday. And then a farewell to Matt Turner as Minnesota are the visitors next Sunday. Gustavo Bo trying to turn one point into three. It's awkward for Melia. Melia made a second save, but can't keep it out. I think Boateng's offside, isn't he? Or no? The celebrations indicate that the goal's been given, but go all the way back because there's a goal here. So this ball's hit. When this ball's hit from Bo, no, he, Boateng's in an onside position. Now watch the flag. See, the flag's raised there. However, the question will be whether or not there was a foul on Kyrie Shelton at the Melia gives this one up right here. Boateng's in an onside position. This ball ends up at the back of the net. The question will be whether or not the reviewing the foul on Kyrie Shelton before this play started is a foul. It's like a first victory on this pitch since 2014 for the New England Revolution. Now confirmed. A scrappy deciding goal by...